Hello, and welcome to Miss Rogers' wonderful school. It's wonderful to see all of you today. Isn't that right, Nurse Dahl? We have missed you, and it's fantastic to be back. Wow. And have you noticed how things are changing? I know we've read some books about the changing of the seasons, the life of the seed, and it's life from dropping from a tree, being implanted in the ground, sprouting into a flower or another tree. Yes, things are changing. Seasons are changing, the winds are blowing, picking up, the leaves are changing colors. And so that brings us to a discussion about the weather. You know, the weather changes, as you all know. And for those of you who don't, pay attention. Pay attention to what you see and what you hear and what you feel all around you when you're outside. And today, we're going to learn some weather words and how each season has different weather patterns. And some of them, sometimes we, the weather patterns can overlap. So some seasons share some weather patterns. Isn't that right? Yeah. And so our first story today, weather words. Well, tell us more about that. Weather words and what they mean by Gail Gibbons. Look, it's sunny. I need my boots. It's raining. It's beginning to snow. The weather forecast is fair today. It sure is hot and humid. The weather changes from day to day. Weather words explain what the weather is like outside. Temperature, that's a weather word. The position of the sun is what causes temperature changes. The weather is made up of temperature, air pressure, how much moisture is in the air, and how fast the wind is moving. Air pressure. Air pressure is the force produced by the weight of the air pressing down on the earth. Moisture. Moisture in the air comes from water that evaporates mostly from the oceans. Wind. Wind is air in motion. Temperature. The temperature goes up and down. When the sun rises in the morning, the temperature becomes warmer and the temperature goes up, mild. When the sun sets, the air becomes cooler and the temperature goes down. Chilly. 
the temperature also changes with the seasons from hot to warm. In the summer, the sun is high in the sky. The days are warm and longer. In the winter, the sun is low in the sky. The days are cold and shorter. Air pressure. Air pressure is when air particles are close together. The air is usually cool and dry. High pressure often brings fair weather. High pressure. Low pressure. Low pressure is when the air particles are farther apart. The air is usually warm and moist. Low pressure often brings bad weather. Moisture. Humid. The moisture, the amount of moisture in the air is called humidity. Warm air has more moisture in it than cold air. At night, when the air cools down, it can't hold as much moisture. The moisture that forms on the ground is called dew. If the temperature goes below freezing, the dew freezes. Then it is called frost. water vapor or ice crystals. Moisture makes clouds too. When water evaporates from rivers, lakes, and oceans, it is called vapor. It moves up with the warm air and forms little drops of water or ice crystals. A cloud is formed. <laughs> I love clouds. Clouds come in all shapes and sizes. There are three main kinds of clouds. Cumulus clouds are puffy. They are fair weather clouds, partly sunny. <laughs> partly cloudy. Cirrus clouds are the highest clouds. They are mean fair weather too. Stratus clouds are low gray clouds. Sometimes they bring rain or snow. There are other kinds of clouds with long names. They are combinations of cumulus, cirrus, and stratus clouds. Partly sunny, sorrow cumulus clouds usually mean changing weather. Sorrow stratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Nimble stratus clouds bring rain or snow. Alto stratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Alto cumulus clouds can bring showers or snow flurries. Sometimes the sun shines through them. Strato cumulus clouds usually are winter clouds. Cumulonibus clouds are thunderstorm clouds.
a cloud close to the Earth's surface is called fog. A foggy day. Rain forms inside rain clouds. The water vapor that evaporates from below forms tiny water drops. Tiny drops join together and become bigger drops. When they are heavy enough, they fall rain. Rain comes down in different ways. Drizzle. Drizzle is when raindrops are very small. Shower. A shower is a brief rainfall. A normal rain lasts longer. Rainstorm. A rainstorm is when there are strong winds and lots of rain. Sometimes there are floods when it rains for a long time. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorms are scary. Lots of tiny drops of water whip around inside the cloud at very high speeds. When they rub and bump against each other, they make electricity. Thunder, lightning. When enough electricity builds up, it bursts through the cloud and flashes. This is called lightning. Lightning is very hot. It heats the air around it. The hot air expands and boom, it makes a loud noise called thunder. Rainbow. Everyone loves looking at a rainbow. This may happen while it is raining or just after the rain stops. When sunbeams shine through drops of rain, the light breaks up into seven colors. A rainbow appears. Sometimes in the winter, it snows. Snow crystals form when water freezes inside the clouds. When the snow crystals join together, they become snowflakes. When they are heavy enough, they form snow. Snow falls to the earth in different ways. Flurries. Flurries are when it snows lightly. Sleet. Sleet is snow that melts and refreezes before it hits the ground. Snowstorm. A snowstorm is when a lot of snow falls. It can be windy. Snow. A normal snowfall occurs when there is little or no wind. Blizzard. Oh, oh. A blizzard is a very heavy snowstorm. It's best to stay inside then. The snow becomes deeper and deeper, and the wind howls. Hail. Sometimes it hails. Inside the cloud, ice crystals are tossed up and down. Water vapor freezes into the ice crystals in layers. When they become heavy enough, they fall as hailstorms. Wind. 
Wind happens when warm air moves up and cooler air moves in to replace it. Warm and cool temperatures affect the wind speed and direction. Wind direction is where the wind comes from. Gusty, breezy, <gasps> windy. When wind blows with more and more force, a wind storm develops. There are many kinds of wind storms. Often they cause damage. A gale is a strong wind storm. A hurricane is a spiral shaped wind storm that comes from the tropics. A tornado is a funnel shaped wind storm that twists as hot air spins upward. Air mass, front. The many combinations of temperature, air pressure, moisture, and wind create different kinds of weather conditions. A big area of weather that is the same is called an air mass. The boundary between two air masses is called a front. This boundary is where the weather changes. Take a look. Let's go swimming. It's hot. We'll have to wait till next summer now to go swimming. Oh, brr, it's cold. Yes, the weather is becoming colder now. There's the weather is hardly ever the same from day to day. That is why it is so interesting. Weather words and what they mean by Gail Gibbons. So now, you know, I was thinking while we were reading that story, and actually that is a non-fiction story because it's about real things. The weather is real. So we are learning about, it's part of learning about science when we learn about the weather. And it made me think of a fiction story have any of you ever read The Wizard of Oz? Have any of you ever seen the film? Well, our main character or the protagonist, her name is Dorothy. And do you know what her last name is? That's a bit of trivia for you. Her last name is the same word as the word for a type of wind pattern. Gale is a gust of wind and her name was Dorothy Gale. And before Dorothy landed in Oz, there was a particular wind pattern, a windstorm that happened that basically hit her town and her house her family had to hide in a shelter under the ground because that's what you have to do when you are in the way of a hurricane or a tornado, if possible, if you have enough time, because sometimes they, they happen very, very quickly. We have very little warning, but when you do, it's good to go into your shelter. But if you remember in The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy didn't go into the shelter because her family was already in the shelter. So she ran into the house and the tornado swept up her house and her and her bed and Toto and the house was caught up in the tunnel going round and around, I'm sorry, a funnel of wind spinning round and round very quickly. And she and Toto and the house landed in Oz. 
So learning about weather words can be very useful, not just learning about the weather and weather patterns, but also when we read different books and even our fiction stories. You never know. So that brings us to our word of the day. Nurse, let me. Why don't you watch as well as our friends out there, okay? And you can learn about our weather word today as well, okay? All right. See you later. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Here we go. W is our first letter of the day. W. Uh-oh, don't want to drop anything. E. I'm using lowercase letters today. I just happened to pick up the wrong jar of letters. Next week, our uppercase letters will return. E, we, 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 we are, we, a, a, we, we, Wah. Eh, eh, eh. Silent E, that long E sound, we, but the A becomes we, eh, eh. Eh. We, e, eh. With, 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 eh. Both vowels are still, have short sounds. H. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you our letter T. There we go, lowercase t. H, lowercase h. With, with, t h. W e a t h. E, E, with the, the, uh, with the, with, T-H-E, the, 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 or the, lowercase r. <laughs> weather, weather, weather. <laughs> so, weather. And we learned today that our weather can change from cool to warm to hot. It can become even very cold or very hot. And with the climate changing, next week, and we'll look at the word climate. So I know that's a climate and change. Those are words I know that you're all hearing so much about. But those words, the words of climate change, also the idea of climate change all comes, derives from the word weather because the pollution that is, has entered the air all over the world and has entered our oceans is causing the normal weather patterns to shift and that is called climate change. And now many books are being written about that. So, weather is our word of the day. So now let's take a look at our next story today, which, and it's a story that discusses ways in which weather impacts the growth of certain trees and fruits on trees.
the seasons of Arnold's apple tree by Gail Gibbons. Arnold climbs high into the branches of the apple tree. He can see far, far away in every direction. This is Arnold's very own secret place. This is Arnold's apple tree. Arnold's tree keeps him very busy all through the year. It is spring. Arnold watches the small buds grow on his apple tree. Some of the buds develop into sweet smelling apple blossoms. Carefully and quietly, Arnold watches bees collect nectar from the blossoms to make honey. Arnold makes a swing for his apple tree. He weaves an apple blossom wreath and hangs it from a branch. Arnold picks an armful of apple blossoms and brings it to his family. They make a flower arrangement together. It is summer. Arnold's apple tree has big green leaves that rustle in the wind. Arnold builds a tree house. His apple tree shades him from the hot summer sun. The green leaves shelter him during a summer shower. Arnold watches small apples begin to grow from where the blossoms used to be. They grow bigger, bigger, and bigger. With some of the big green apples, Arnold does a juggling act for his tree friend. It is fall. Arnold's apple tree now has big, red, tasty apples. The green leaves have turned golden. They drift to the ground. Arnold gathers some of the leaves and brings them up to his treehouse to make a soft floor to lie on. Arnold shakes the branches and red apples fall to the ground. He puts them in a basket and takes them home. Arnold and his family make apple pies with apples from Arnold's apple tree. They put the rest of the apples into a cider press and make fresh apple cider. On Halloween day, Arnold decorates some of the biggest apples. They glow in the moonlight under his tree on Halloween night. It is winter. Snow falls, it is quiet. The branches of Arnold's apple tree are bare. 
Arnold hangs strings of popcorn and berries on them for the winter birds to eat. He builds a snow fort around the bottom of his tree. Arnold builds a snowman to keep him and his tree company during the winter. The snow melts away. It is spring again. The seasons of Arnold's apple tree by Gail Gibbons. Wow, we really did get to see how Arnold's apple tree keeps him very busy throughout all four seasons of the year. And we also got to see how the weather patterns shift throughout all the seasons. And as the tree lays its fruit on the ground and it sheds its leaves and begins its whole cycle of life again. And how many of you noticed who the author was of this book? Yes, Gail Gibbons, who also authored and illustrated the previous book, Weather Words and What They Mean. So what we did today at Miss Rogers Wonderful School, you experienced what we call an author study. It's when you read more than one title or more than one book by the same author. It gives you so much information about what types of knowledge this author knows. And there's also comfort in seeing the author's way of writing and way of drawing and telling a story. Wow, we've been so busy today. <laughs> so I think, I think we've had a pretty long day, a pretty busy day. And it's time now for Miss Rogers' classic story corner. Before we say goodbye. I'm going to continue reading a chapter from The World is Round by Gertrude Stein, illustrated by Clement Hurd. The World is Round, Chapter Five. Willie and His Lion. Willie had a father and Willie had a mother. That was Willie. Willie went with his father to a little place where they sold wild animals. If the world is round, can wild animals come out of the ground? In the place that his father took Willie, wild animals did not grow there. They were not always sold there, but they were always there. Everybody there had them. Wild animals were with them on the boats on the river and they went with everyone in the garden and in the house. Everybody there had a wild animal and they always had them with them. Nobody knows how the wild animals came there. If the world is round, can they come out of the ground? But anyway, everybody had one and sometimes somebody sold one. Quite often, everybody sold one. Willie's father went to get one. Which one? That was for Willie to say. It was funny seeing wild animals in a boat, one wild animal in a rowing boat, one wild animal in a sailboat, one wild animal in a motorboat. It was a funny place, this town. That is, it would not have been a funny place. It was just like any place, only that everyone always had a wild animal with them men, women, and children, and very often they were in the water in a boat and the wild animal with them. And of course, wild animals are wild. Of course, they are wild. It was a funny place. 
Willie went everywhere, so of course he was there, beside his father had taken him there. It was a funny place, and Willie always took whatever he was given. So he hoped he would have one, anyone, everyone had to have one, so of course Willie would come to have one. And Willie did come to have one. Which one? There were elephants, an elephant in a rowing boat. Willie did not get that one. And a tiger in a sailboat. Willie did not get that one. Willie got a lion, not a very little one who looked like Rose's dog love. Only the lion was terrifying. Any lion is even a quite small one. And this was a pretty big one. Willie began to sing. It was exciting and Willie sang and sang. He did not sing to the lion, but he sang about lions being exciting, about cats and tigers and dogs and bears, about windows and curtains and giraffes and chairs. The giraffe's name was Lizzie. It really was. Lizzie, Willie was so excited. He almost stopped singing. But as soon as he saw his own lion again, he began singing again, singing and singing. This was the song he sang. Round is a round. Lions and tigers, kangaroos and canaries are bound. They are bound to be around. Why? Because the world is round and they are always there. Any little dog is afraid of there. And he sang in a whisper, suppose it should rain, suppose it should never be the same. And then Willie's rose, Willie's voice rose. The lion is what I chose. After a long moment, he sat down to cry. He sat there, here I am, just like, my cousin Rose. Which was true, he was. He almost was not Willie. Oh, will he again be Willie? Not as long as he has a lion, not as long. And it was getting worse and worse. And then suddenly he said, there were only two baskets of yellow peaches and I have them both. He whispered very low. And I have them both. And Willie had, they were lovely round yellow peaches, really round, really yellow, really peaches. and. There were only two baskets of them and Willie had them both. And so he cheered up and decided to give the lion to his cousin, Rose. The World is Round by Gertrude Stein, illustrated by Clement Hurd. We read chapter five. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. It was wonderful to be with you today. And if you like, you may subscribe to Miss Rogers' Wonderful School. And when you come, you can look at episodes at the Wonderful School. And you can just come to the channel and turn us on to listen to Story Corners, classic, contemporary, or for the nighttime before you go to sleep. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon and an even lovelier tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye.